I really like keywords that do this. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ken, also known as The Pop Air. So today's video, I've got another haul video for you. Like I know the last haul video wasn't like a long time ago, but I just came back from overseas and I bought a few things and I wanted to share it with you guys. And obviously there's a few PR samples as well. So for those of you guys that are very sensitive, just so you know. So let's start off first with products that I got from Sasa, so from Hong Kong. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Sasa, they have an international website and I'm pretty sure they ship internationally as well so you can check them out there as well so if you've ever been to Sasa you guys will probably know that they have like these promotions when you buy a heap of masks so I got a few from shining nature 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 purity there you go SMP <laughs> so I got um, a few masks different variety so black pearl renew black ampule mask um, we've got the gold collagen ampule mask. Um, this one I was pretty keen on trying. This one is Bird's Nest Aqua Ampule Mask um, because, you know, who doesn't want a bird's nest on their face? Um, Diamond Brightening Ampule Mask. So I'm going to research on what they actually are because, again, I have no idea. And the sales reps didn't really speak much English so I couldn't really ask them like what this does and stuff. I just thought, oh, you know, looks pretty, looks good, I'll, I'll try it. Okay, so I also got these um, SNP Animal Masks. So this one is the Animal Lotto Aqua Mask. So this one, Aqua Moisture. Um, we've got the Anti-Wrinkle Animal Tiger Face Mask. So they're apparently supposed to look like that as well, like when you put them on the face. So I thought that'd be cute selfie um we've got the animal dragon which kind of looks like a frog to be honest um but yeah, let's try it um picked up this duo lash glue um adhesive it's basically got a brush so you can put it on the actual band um so i thought that was quite handy instead of actually just squeezing it out and just and then I also got this N Couleur um, lip liner. I don't actually know what color this is. Oh, there you go. It says rose brown. So it's like a brownie color. Let me try and swatch that for you. So yeah, it's got a nice ready brown to it. I thought, you know, because now that I've been wearing more darker, like more darker, I've been wearing darker lipsticks, great English. I've been wearing darker lipsticks. I thought I should have like a lip liner that's quite dark as well. And I don't really want to use up my Kylie lip kit brow, like lip liners too quickly so I thought I'd buy a cheap one. And then I also picked up this um, Maybelline Clean Express Total Clean Express Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. I don't think we have this specific range here in Australia because I've never seen it. I purchased like a cleansing oil from this range before and it was pretty okay. Like I didn't think it was absolutely amazing but yeah I thought I'd give this a try because I've ran out of oil based eye makeup remover and I honestly feel that I need that to remove um, eye makeup especially like mascara and liner. I do use a cleansing oil and I do find that it does work but I don't really like getting too close to my eyes because I wear contact lenses and once it's in the eye it's just oh it's a pain to remove. So that's pretty much all the Hong Kong skincare makeup stuff that I bought because well I I don't know like not a lot of things interest me and a lot of the products over there were aimed at skin whitening and as you guys already know I, I'm not really into skin whitening I'm more into like natural tanning kind of looks so let's just move on to makeup that I purchased just online. So, hello! I purchased the Kylie Kai Shadows. This one is the bronze palette. So this is the box that came in and this is the actual palette. So pretty sure you guys have seen this palette a hundred million times on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it out. I haven't actually tried it out. I'm looking forward to, you know, swatching it and seeing how it goes on my face. Um, but yeah, I like that. I really like that orange. It looks really, really good. And then on the day of my flight to Hong Kong, I was in a really, really good mood. And, you know, I still had a lot of money because, you know, I was saving all that money for Hong Kong. Um, I picked this up. <laughs> this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. So Mario, I don't know how to say his surname, um, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. Whoops. Okay, so I'm actually wearing a few of the shadows on my eyes right now, um, but this is how the palette looks like. like. It's really nice. Um, I didn't expect it to be cardboard. I thought it was gonna be like plastic. I mean, this is my first ever, I think, Anastasia product. So I was expecting a little bit more, but you know, I'm pretty happy with the quality. At the moment I'm wearing Lula, 
um, Isabella, Violetta, and Kim on the list. And I'm pretty happy with the way this, you know, look came out. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, you guys probably would have already known that I went to a Freaky Friday Halloween party by NYX. So I got a goodie bag. So I got this three-piece set. Um, it's the Soft Matte Lip Cream. And, oh, these colors are really nice. At first I thought they were the glosses, and I said, like, I have these glosses already, but these are actually the mattes. Um, and they look really nice. Um, I also got a jumbo eye pencil. This one is in milk, which is good because I lost my other one and I think they've reformulated it or something or I don't know, but this is great. I have got the two timer coal pencil. So, oh, is it a pencil and a felt tip? Oh, it is two. It's a coal pencil liner on one side and one felt tip. How convenient. And we also have the Simply Vamp lip cream in what color is this temptress I'll, I'll swatch that for you oh that's a nice purple so another event today i went to the sephora opening at champston so um i got myself a few goodies um we were given a 20 percent gift 20% off um, a voucher thingy that we could use in store. So I picked up two things. I picked up the Tarte Amazonian Glow 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I really like the packaging. I've seen so many YouTubers rave about this. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try. And Taylor was also like, um, she was the girl that was helping me out. Um, she really liked this foundation. So I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I think the color match is pretty good. So um, we'll see. Um, I'll play around because she also gave me a sample to see if it works and I didn't know that um, but apparently here in Sephora in Australia um, we can return it in a few days if we don't like it uh, which is why she also gave me a little sample to try out first before I actually open this so yeah that's pretty good okay the next product is this cover FX um, press mineral foundation now um, I bought this because I wanted something to set my like my foundation this one is in G50 um, so just a normal compact, um, it's got a mirror, that's the powder. Moving on to sponges, so I got these products from Real Techniques. I've got two mini eraser sponges, apparently you can use them to uh, remove a fallout flaking mascara and stuff like that. I don't know, I'll do a proper review and everything about these products, but they look really, really cute. I've got the Miracle Sculpting Sponge. It says Dewy Highlight and Contour. Ooh. It kind of looks weird, but I can see how it would work for like contour and highlighting. I also got this ultimate base set. Uh, apparently it's the number one um, seller, includes one of their best sellers actually. Um, let's see, what brushes do you get? You've obviously got the Miracle Complexion Sponge. You've got the Expert Face Brush. Oh, that's good, because I really like that brush. Um, and you also have the Deluxe Concealer Brush. Apparently it's a, an exclusive to this set and it's a limited edition. So thank you so much Real Techniques. Okay, moving on to tech. I bought um, a few memory cards. I'm actually using one of them now so I can't really show you what it is. But if you guys go to Hong Kong, make sure you buy tech because it's really affordable over there. I got um, a 32 gigabyte uh, memory card from Scandisk. I think that's the brand's name. I think that's how you pronounce it um, for I think 16 Australian dollars and that's really affordable for 32 gigabytes because usually it's really expensive it's like in the 40s or 50 dollars um, when you buy a 32 gigabyte memory card so you know if you guys are over there check it out I got this keyboard from key calls now this is gonna sound very ra very very random but I really like keyboards that do this I love that sound. I love it. 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 Turn it on. It's actually a gaming keyboard. So when the guy was talking to me about all the specs and stuff, I was like, I have no idea. Is it pretty? I will use it. So yeah, there you guys. So yeah, you can change the color. And I, I was like, oh, that's so cute. I hope you guys can see that. It's like red, green, blue, yellow, purpley, pink, and you know, turquoise, and you've got white. I usually just keep it on the white setting, but yeah. I, I thought that was cool. Next purchase is something that I bought in China, in Shenzhen. Um, I bought this um, Philip Plain, um, I don't really know. Um, it's essentially a man purse, a merce, I like to call it. Um, it's just a nice, decent size. I mean, like, if here's my phone comparing the size. It's a, it's a decent size. So, you know, I've been using this in the past few events that I've been to and, you know, Pretty good, I like it. Something that my partner bought for me. We went to Disneyland in Hong Kong, so we bought this um, Mickey Mouse backpack. 
I'm like 26, but I don't care. I love Mickey Mouse and I think this is a cute backpack, so I will use it. Okay, I'm just gonna share with you guys one last product and I think that's a wrap. Um, I bought this really nice bag. It was in the men's section, so I know it's a man's bag, but it's, it's really nice. It kind of looks like a laptop bag, but kind of like a, like a nice little handbag too. Uh, this one is by Sapu Paolo. I, I think it's a Chinese brand, I don't know. Um, I tried to make sure that I didn't buy anything fake um, while I was in China, like a, a rip off of another brand. Um, but I'm assuming this is a China brand. Like, it's a nice one. I think you can fit a decent laptop in here, like a 15 inch maybe. Um, but you know, I don't know how sturdy these handles are going to be, but it's, it's nice. It's a nice black color, nice leathery smell. And it's like, I don't know, I just feel like, oh, I'm gonna be so professional in my bag. In my bag, with my bag. So yeah, there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. I upload videos twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday Australian time. I also have travel vlogs of myself in Hong Kong, so definitely check out the description box down below. There's going to be a playlist, links on the screen. And what do you guys think of these videos on the screen? I think it's a really handy feature because you can use them on your phone as well. So, you know, click on that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.